What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets at Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about Max Scherzer to the Mets and the latest rumors that are going on about him and the Mets, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you're enjoying my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So, the New York Mets, are they close or are they interested in in getting Max Scherzer well I think they are and the reason why I say that is because clearly with the Rich Hill trade the New York Mets are clearly looking at back end of the rotation type of starters and even though Max Scherzer is 36 years old and has a very very low ERA that does not mean that he is a top of the line starter anymore and I don't necessarily think that the New York Mets actually need a one or a two type of starter because I think DeGrom will be okay and Stroman and Walker I still trust so Max Scherzer can be a three four five type of starter no doubt about it even when he's pitching very well this year we will get into his contract situation and his stats this year and over the course of his career but I do think the Mets even and they inquired about Max Scherzer I do think that the Mets can somehow, if they can pry him away from the Washington Nationals, and I know there's a conflict of interest when it comes to the National League East with division rivals, but when a team is out of the playoffs and they don't think they're going to do anything and they're going to start selling off players, I do, don't do think that when it comes to the Washington Nationals, they will hesitate to send Scherzer to the Mets, especially if the deal is good enough where they can't say, all right, we'll give you to, we'll give them to the Mets. Now, we also have to look at the Washington Nationals. They already won a World Series. I could see if they didn't win a World Series, and maybe they're going to go for it all. I, ex I understand that. But they won a World Series in 2019, so I don't think they're going to be as hesitant to send them to a team that gives them the best package. Now, when it comes to price, price and prospect-wise or package-wise to get Max Scherzer, I don't think it's going to be all that much. Only because he does have a lot of money on his contract still. And let's be honest, he's 36 years old. And at the same time, the Washington Nationals are going to look at the best package they can possibly get. So it's not going to cost that much to get Max Scherzer. It's just a matter of will the Nationals be willing to give him to the Mets? And the Mets willing to be given a decent package back to get Max Scherzer. We will look into everything. We will look at what will go back in a Max Scherzer trade to the Nationals. We will look at Max Scherzer's uh, contract, and we'll look at Max Scherzer's career stats and what he's doing this year in 2021. So right now, guys, we're going to get started right now looking at his contract because one of the things that we have to look at when you trade for a player is his contract. So when it comes to Max Scherzer's contract, we're going to look at it right here. Obviously, he's on the last year of his deal. He is making over $27 million and got a nice little signing bonus of almost over $7 million. So that's a lot of money. But getting him at the middle of the year, it's only half that salary. Around, I would say, about $14 million or so. A little bit less than that. So the Mets will be paying $14 million. But you can look to take back maybe the Washington Nationals put some money into that too. So the Mets will have to pay about $14 million. I don't think we have to worry about in the Mets side about the luxury tax and the payroll only because as you heard Steve Cohen talked about, if he's going to go over the luxury, the payroll, the luxury tax or the, the, the salary cap, so to speak, he's going to blow past. It. He's not going to go over it one or $2 million. So I think the Mets can clearly do this trade. No problem. Money would not be an issue. You get another rotation arm who is very good I know he had some injury concerns but we seen Max Scherzer before pitch through injuries and pitch well with an injury so I'm not worried about that but having an arm like Scherzer especially in the playoffs is a guy that can just put this rotation over the top and be a scary rotation in the playoffs and as of right now the Mets are in the playoffs so I'm not worried about that so I think Max Scherzer would be a perfect addition when it comes to his contract, I don't think it's that big of a deal when it comes to the Mets. So, again, with this contract, last year of his contract, he will be an unrestricted free agent. He is 36 years old, but I still feel like he is very good at this age. And you could see Jacob DeGrom being this as good as Max Scherzer 
in the later years of his career, 34, 35, 36 years old. And let's be honest, DeGrom is getting towards those years. So to look at Max Scherzer, I think it's a resemblance of what DeGrom could be at that age. So I think Max Scherzer would be a perfect addition to this Mets team. And that is his contract as of right now, 27, a little over $27 million. Obviously, it's going to be half that because you're getting them almost near the end of the year, the last couple of months of that contract. So I think it's a good idea that the Mets, money-wise, should not be an issue. The next thing we want to look at with Max Scherzer is his stats, is his career stats. And I highlighted it here for you guys when it comes to his career stats from 2013 all the way down to 2019, which is a six-year period from the age of 28 all the way to the age of 34. He was an all-star every year, and he was in the top five of the Cy Young Award voting. And he won it three times. So you're bringing in a guy who has been an all-star every year from 2013 to 2019, including this year in 2021. But in every year from 2013 to 2019, he was an all-star, was in the top five of the Cy Youngs, and has three Cy Young Award winning. So with that, that just shows you that he's a great player, great pitcher, a guy that you want on the mound who doesn't take no crap from any team. He is a big-time starter, and he is one of the guys that shows us his motion on the mound, and he's a feisty pitcher. That's the type of guy you want, who does not give a damn about nothing, wants to win, wants to throw good, wants to pitch well, wants to do everything he can and get that W for his team. That's who Max Scherzer is. Look at his look at his stats. Let's look at 2021. He has an ERA at 36 years old at 2.83. Now, again, you could say, all right, he's been pitching against the NL East. Granted, one of the worst divisions in baseball, but he's still pitching 2.83. But guess what, guys? When he pitches for the New York Mets, he will be pitching against the NL East. So you shouldn't expect any higher of an ERA. Yes, he had a little bit of injury concern in the last week or so, but if he can pitch to a 3 ERA a little bit higher than a 3 ERA, that's exactly what the Mets need. And I think that he can stay this way the rest of the year and be a really good to dominant starting pitcher in the playoffs if and when the Mets get there. Max Scherzer is the guy that the Mets can pry him away from the Washington Nationals. I think it would be another solid pickup for the middle to back end of this rotation. And the Mets don't have to probably get, give up a lot to get him, the Mets can focus on the position player that we've been looking for. And obviously, that has been a third baseman. We know who they are. Josh Donaldson, Chris Bryant, Jose Ramirez, and Eugenio Suarez. Guys like that. We just found out as of yesterday that Adam Frazier is off the table now because he just got traded to the San Diego Padres. So I think the Mets are going to be focusing in on a third baseman, no doubt about it. So what this move with Rich Hill and possible Max Scherzer can do is save us the prospects we might need to get a Chris Bryant, Kimbrough type of package or a Chris Bryant just alone by himself or someone else like a Josh Donaldson or Jose Ramirez or Eugenio Suarez. Third basemen's like that. But... When it comes to getting Max Scherzer, what are what can be possible to give up in a trade that involves Max Scherzer? Well, let's look at our Mets top 25 prospect list. They are right over here. You see it right here. So I don't think you would have to give anybody in the top five in your top five prospect list. I don't think so. Maybe not even top 10, but I think we would have to give something in the later part of the top 10, such as a Thomas Zapucky, maybe a Mark Vientos, Mark Vientos, and maybe a, a starter like a Franklin Killame, guy like that. Maybe someone like an Oscar De La Cruz, a Marcel Renteria, Michael Ortanez, guys like that. I don't think we have to give too much. I do think you have to give somebody, you know, a little bit close to the top 10. You know, I think it would be one position player and one uh, a pitcher. That's just my opinion. So if you want to come up with a deal, I would say a Mark Vientos and an Oscar De La Cruz. Something like that. Maybe you have to might throw something in on the Major League roster. Who can that be? I don't really know. I don't think Tyler McGill is going anywhere. I don't think David Peterson's going anywhere. But it is an interesting thing. Maybe the Mets might give up a David Peterson. I don't think they have to do that, go that route. 
But you have to look into the consideration of would they want somebody on the major league roster? I don't think so. I think, you know, if you're going to trade a Max Scherzer, they're obviously getting rid of this year. And who knows about next year and the year after that. So maybe they're trying to build up somebody who can come up on this team in the next year or so. And Vientos is that guy. Can slot into a third base role somewhere on the infield. And Oscar De La Cruz, he is in double A right now. So he should be projected to come up in about a year or two possibly in 2022, more likely 2023, who can be a pitcher for, you know, right now you just don't know if he can be a starting pitcher or a reliever, but it is an arm that can be very well used in the Washington Nationals team when he comes up to the majors. So if I have to get a trade package in for Max Scherzer, I would say it would be someone like Mark Vientos and Oscar De La Cruz. Maybe you can throw in Khalil Lee. Maybe you can put a Jalen Palmer and an Oscar De La Cruz or a Joshua uh, Canelia. Maybe someone like that. But there is a lot of options. I do not think the Mets have to give someone in their top five. I don't think that's an issue at all. Maybe in top ten from five to ten. Maybe. But there's not a lot that you probably have to give up for Max Scherzer, even though he's pitching well this year, because of his rental status that he will have. And he's 36 years old. So I do think that you can look at Somewhere in the later of the top 10 and forward. So from 10 to 25, I do think the Mets can uh, use prospects from the 10 to 25 list to get Max Scherzer. So with that, is Max Scherzer the right person to solidify this rotation? Even when Carlos Carrasco goes back, I actually want Max Scherzer. If there's a way to get him, I think the Mets could get him. And they already inquired about him, and I do think... Max Scherzer to the Mets can be a possibility, especially when you see what the Mets are trying to do. They're trying to save their prospects when it comes to starting rotation, when it comes to trades such as Rich Hill, who we got, and guys who we're looking at as like Max Scherzer. We're looking at middle to the end of the rotation, which means the Mets are trying to save their prospects, a big time prospect, for a big time blockbuster trade like a third baseman, like Chris Bryant, like Josh Donaldson, and other ones that we talked about. So, can Max Scherzer be close to be acquired by the New York Mets? I say yes. So look out for that, guys. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button if you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos, and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. Again, guys, Max Scherzer to the Mets. Is it close? I think it's closer than we think, guys. But we just have to wait and see. Let's just hope that the Mets make that trade, make a wise trade, not give up too much so we can focus in on a guy like Chris Bryant. But Max Scherzer to the Mets close? I think it is. Don't be surprised if you see that coming in the next coming days, guys. Guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, Mets fans, let's go Mets.